Hey Libra, so I'm going to do your reading. We're going to see what your messages are at this time. Just keep in mind while you're listening to this reading that this is a general message. Don't force it to fit your situation, okay? I hope you're doing well, Libra. Um, thank you guys for your love and your support on the channel. I really appreciate you guys. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to see what your messages are at this time, okay? There is this energy that you may encounter today that is very fake okay I feel like your best bet is to really listen to your intuition because whoever this energy is who whoever you know the person is it is a person um, the way that they throw the shade or the way that they um, kind of play with you it's very subtle okay so I'm seeing this energy where somebody um, has something against you but they're not saying it okay passive aggressive type of energy okay if you feel like this person is being shady they are all right i'm going to clarify that energy we're going to move on to the next um question we're going to see what you can look forward to today so spirit what can the collective look forward to on this day thank you spirit blossoming abundance okay so this is a blessing for sure it feels like um some of you have been working on something specifically and it is growing okay so look forward to that there's a lot of positive energy surrounding um something that you've been putting a lot of your time attention and energy into okay so that's something that you can look forward to let's see um what you should avoid today what else should the collective avoid which but thank you spirit Okay, so woman holding a coin, reverse. This is the same person, okay? This person could be a mother, could be a father. This could be a boss. There's somebody that has some type of um, authority in your life. And I don't really know exactly who this person is. I did do this reading a little bit earlier, but I had to redo it just because the vibe was just kind of like, ugh. I don't I didn't really want to put that energy out here, but it keeps coming up. Okay, so spirit wants to talk about this For some of you this woman could be like the mother of your It could be the mother of your children, but I was more so picking up like your in-laws. Okay Your um, your boyfriend or girlfriend's parent mother. Okay your wife's mother your husband's mother there's some type of mother female feminine energy here who throws a lot of shade okay who always comes to the family functions with issues like you're just not happy for whatever reason this person has got you know issues okay this person may be reaching out to you today um you may have had like issues in the past with this person and she may be reaching out to you to kind of like clear the air that was something else i was seeing in the um first reading i did okay i see six chakra here archangel metatron third eye awareness for sure listen to your in your intuition definitely use discernment with this person okay for some of you they may be coming towards you for money okay or for your help and their intentions may not be um, sincere. Spirit, tell me about deceit. So that's a message for somebody. That may not resonate with everybody, but it did come out again. So, Spirit, can you tell me more about deceit? Overall energy, deceit. I'm also seeing for some of you, you may feel like financially or um, the projects that you've been working on are not receiving or are not like growing okay you may feel like you're working for nothing or there is no improvement and i feel like spirit wants you to be mindful of that spirit tell me more about deceit be mindful of that way of thinking yeah wedge okay someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want okay so i feel like this woman it could be a man but this woman um it kind of feels like she's trying to interfere with your relationship or, you know, maybe even your job. 
okay? There's something here that you're working on. There's some type of goal. And I feel like um, you're on the right path, but she's just trying to block you or stop you. This could even be your own mother. Just really take these messages how they fit. This person could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I am seeing like the Seven of Swords here with this Deceit card. Seven of Swords, okay? So it kind of feels like... It looks like she wants to help you, but then she always has like a trick up her sleeve. That's what I'm seeing here. I see camel, persevere, persevere and you will overcome. Spirit, tell me more about deceit. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want, okay? So this could also, I was also picking up, this could be your person's ex, this could be your ex, this could be like a co-worker, there, it could be like, you know, you and a friend, um getting together having a good time and you have this one friend that's always just trying to ruin things um it's just like a third party third wheel energy spirit tell me about deceit thank you yeah the knight of rods okay this person could be a fire sign an aries a leo a sagittarius i feel like this person is somebody who's um hot tempered okay somebody who says what's on their mind somebody who just doesn't really think okay they just you know just say the first thing that comes to their head yeah seven of cups and it kind of throws you off i feel like like when this person gives advice it's not really coming from a place of i want to see you grow i want to see you do well like it's like i don't want you to do that much better than me okay so like the advice that they give you it's not really benefiting you or it, it doesn't help you in any way okay tell me more about deceit the ace of pentacles okay so this could be a surrounding like your money okay they may be giving you advice about how to invest and they don't know about investing at all or they're not really good with their own finances and they're trying to give you financial advice so just be mindful of advice that you're getting from this person specifically i would just say listen to your intuition okay allow spirit to guide you to the right person or the right resources to help you build there's something here that you're you're um receiving for some of you you're receiving some new money here with this blossoming abundance and this person they want a hand they want to they want to put their hands in your 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 finances okay so you don't need to tell everybody how much money you're making or how much money you have especially this person okay yeah because you don't want this it's like they want to like burn the money or just like run it out real quick okay it feels like a big amount of money is coming your way or if this is not it's some type of opportunity something that you're starting you may be starting a new job or a new business okay you're just blessed with this new opportunity very quickly and somebody is throwing like their two cents just to kind of throw you off your game so really listen to your intuition that's what spirit is saying in this one okay strength card leo energy this could be a leo we have the king of cups and then we have the page of rods here okay there is an offer okay so this is the offer there's an offer that's coming in and i feel like this is sincere i feel like this is something that you can trust i feel like spirit really needs you to listen to your your intuition when you're yeah taking these steps okay there's some type of planning that's going to be required in this new cycle in this new journey this could be you like um getting into a relationship okay you may be getting into a new relationship and there's somebody here that's kind of like trying to give you advice it's like you're single you can't give me marriage advice you've never, or you've never been married so you can't give me you know marital advice like there's somebody here that's giving advice and it's not it you don't have any background in this this area so just spirit wants you to be careful about what advice you're taking really make sure that you're trusting your your gut like make sure it feels right don't go against your own intuition a part of the deck i see vulture here it says depression anxiety worry that someone is against you this is a person that um you have you have a feeling you know like you feel something is a little bit off about them but i feel like you always turn the other cheek or you always um kind of ignore your feelings spirit is saying at this time don't do that 
because it's not going to be a benefit to you. All right. You don't want to end up, you know, receiving this opportunity. Um, it's going to be like a financial opportunity, um, a love, you know, romance type of opportunity. You don't want to be put in a position to have this thing and then lose it because you took bad advice. Okay. So choose wisely. That's what Spirit is saying. Spirit, tell me about blossoming abundance. Tell me about blossoming abundance. Whoa, okay. Wow. And we got victory here. It says victory in some endeavor. Okay, so you are on the road to success for sure. At the bottom is heart. It says love, deep affection, and caring. Okay, so for some of you, this is about a relationship. This is about your love life. And there's somebody here that wants to, this person, she wants to like, you know, tell you what you need to do, how you need to do it, how, like, this person wants to direct the show, <laughs> direct the relationship. And that's very overbearing. Okay, Queen of Pentacles here. Very controlling, but you got it. I feel like Spirit wants you to know that you can make your own decisions. It does feel like a parent. Okay, or this is an elder of some sort. All right. Spirit, tell me about blossoming abundance. Victory and some endeavor. I feel like um, also, yeah, this is that planning energy. Um, you will succeed, okay? I feel like somebody is throwing doubt around you or wanting you to be worried and scared and stressed out and feel like this is too much for you to handle. And Spirit is, is telling you the complete opposite. You're built for this, okay, with that strength card. You can do this. You can handle the situation. You can um, be in this new... You can accept this new offer. You can do this. That's what Spirit wants you to know. Tell me about, about the Two of Wands, Spirit. For some of you, you may have to travel or you may have to just do something that you don't normally do. Okay? It's something different. It's something that is going to, yeah, I feel like get you out of your comfort zone. It's going to put you right, okay? It's going to put you right in the path to receive this victory okay but there's gonna be there's gonna okay so, okay a lot is coming out <laughs> we calm down <laughs> there's gonna be certain steps that you have to take okay you're gonna have to plan all right like okay tell me more about this two of wands spirit Feel like you're very excited yeah this is a new relationship for some of you or this is something that you always dreamed of having this is a new opportunity this is such a blessing for you okay i see that here financially as well as emotionally this is a brand new start okay and i feel like there is this old energy around you that may not be aware of the changes that are happening in your life and um you're going to have to decide whether or not you're going to take these new offers or just kind of stay where you're at. Okay? If this is a relationship, this person that's coming towards you, I feel like this is a long-term partnership with a lot of love. It has the potential of really blossoming into that. Tell me more about the Two of Wands spirit. You're going to have to make decisions for yourself. That's what I'm seeing. Two of Wands, Holy Spirit. Six of Pentacles here. I'm seeing... Um, I'm also seeing if this is money coming your way, you're going to have people that want, um, you know, a piece of the pie. Look at that. Just be mindful of who you give your, your, your pie to. Okay? People may want to, like, so this may be a big amount of money that's coming your way. 
and it's like everybody wants to tell you how to spend this money or how to be in love with this person judgment is here yeah for some of you there's a judgment that's coming in okay there's some type of big win financially as well as um emotionally okay and spirit does not want you to lose this opportunity or blow this okay so this may be happening to you today or you may be getting um further messages about the situation spirit tell me more about this energy for today what else do you have for the collective today spirit wants you to look forward to this success okay spirit wants you to look forward to um the financial success as well as um the romance that's coming or the romance that's in your life the finances that are in your life the abundance that you currently have okay stay optimistic i'm also seeing um you could be in the energy of you know creating this manifesting this so i feel like spirit wants you to be mindful of of the company that you're keeping there's somebody in your energy that's not yeah planning is <laughs> planning came out there's somebody in the energy in your energy that's not doing the same thing that you're doing okay um planning it says now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future financial gains are more than likely okay so you're going to have to plan. You're going to have to be wise about how you spend your money or how you invest your money and who you take financial advice from, as well as, you know, love advice and how you spend your time with people in general. Okay, like make sure you're surrounding yourself with people that um, pour into you and not leave you drained. Okay, or, or people that only want to see you do, um, you know, Okay, people that only want to see you do good to a certain extent. Okay, somebody here is putting it, is trying to put a limit on you. Perseverance is here. It says, you may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes of, um, up ahead. Do not give up. Okay, one more spirit. Can I have one more? I feel like um, this situation that you're dealing with, this person is not um, out in the open with how they really feel. So I'm also seeing, you know, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They may not be aware of it. You know, sometimes it's like you don't, you're not aware of what you're doing. So they just may not be aware that could be a thing. They're not aware that they're acting like this. All right, but you can see this. You're aware. So listen to your awareness. Listen to your intuition. Can I have one more spirit? I feel like this is something that you think about from time to time because like, I'm really dwelling on this energy. Like, is this really like this? Does this person really feel like this? Does, you know, or do they want to see me win? These may be, these are some of the questions that you may be asking yourself. Can I, and it's going to be revealed to you, okay? You're going to see something very clearly, okay? Something that you may have overlooked in the past is going to show up. It's going to show you that, yeah, um, they, they're not on the same page as you right now. And... Some of you, this person is intentionally trying to do this. Um, so, yeah. And you're going to see. Can I have one more? You may be seeing that today. One more. Spirit, can I have one more? Okay. I'm going to clarify this one. What you should avoid... Okay. Woman holding the coin. Don't let this person hold your money. <laughs> okay. Do not let this person um, spend your money for you. Okay. Do not let this person tell you how to like preserve your money. I'm, I feel like you're dealing with someone who who's still like growing in that department of their life. Okay, I'm not saying that you can't take advice from them, but just be careful of like what you actually it, it apply to your own personal life. Spirit is saying avoid, um, avoid taking their advice, okay, or at least like really listen to um, what they're saying versus what you feel, okay. Like trust your intuition first. Spirit, tell me about woman holding a coin reverse. Tell me more about that. 
Knight of Pentacles here and the star. Yeah. Hmm. You could be an Aquarius or maybe dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like you've put you spent a lot of time um, recovering financially. Career. Okay, so this person may give, may be trying to give you uh, career-related advice, like what you should um, focus on, how you should run your business, or what you should go to school for. Okay, listen to your intuition. Okay, I feel like um, this. Yeah, this may be the type of person um, that wants you to live your life the way. That they want you to live it you know like they want to run your life they want to it feels like an overbearing parent they want you to um be in this profession okay they want you to be in this type of relationship they want you to live life on their terms and spirit is saying you have to make decisions for yourself okay you're going to be connecting to new opportunities okay ace of cups the Ace of Pentacles in love and in your finances, in your career. And Spirit is saying, um, you can definitely do this. You can make changes that are beneficial to yourself. Okay, be real to yourself. That's what I'm seeing here with this star card. Continue to stay, stay real to yourself. Okay. Hmm. This person may be trying to pressure you because I'm hearing don't fold under pressure. They may be trying to pressure you to do things that you're not in alignment with. So just be mindful of that. Anything else with this woman holding the coin? Spirit wants you to avoid that. Yeah. Five of Wands here. Nine of Cups. Again, like, I feel like this person that's coming up, they just, you know, they're in this energy of kind of thinking of themselves, being a little selfish. I want what I want, how I want it, when I want it, um, because I want it. <laughs> yeah. This could be a Capricorn. And I do feel like this is a parent. Anything else, Spirit? Any other messages for today? So I feel like, you know, you are strong for sure. We got a strength card coming out. You're strong. You can make decisions for yourself. You're smart. Okay. You can listen to your gut. I see luck here. Luck, it says a sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Okay, love life. It says affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Okay, so make decisions and choices that align with your your true self. Okay, that's what spirit wants you to know for today. Whatever choices that you make, make sure that they're from a place of, you know, a place that's real. Okay, so that you don't have anyone to blame. Okay, if things don't go right, you don't have anyone to blame but yourself. All right, you don't want to make a decision because your mom or your dad said do this and you end up just regretting it. Like you want to you want to be confident in what you're doing, okay? And Spirit is saying um, in these new cycles that you're stepping in, you have a lot of blessings. You have a lot of new things that are coming your way. So go ahead and take them. Like go ahead and go after what you really want, okay? So I'm going to leave the reading here. I hope it was helpful. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later, okay? Bye. Thank you.